Good evening. Welcome to our service this evening. Thank you to each one that came out. Appreciate your presence here. Those of you that were here this morning remember me mentioning that it was Palm Sunday. And I'm still kind of thinking about that and thinking about the just the contrast between those people that were so excited about Jesus being the king, the Messiah. And less than a week later, probably some of those very same people were the ones that said crucify him. It's easy to get excited when when Jesus is riding in on a donkey and everything is exciting. But what about when what about when times are hard? Are we still excited about serving Jesus? One devotional I read this morning asked the question, are you a fan or are you a follower? Jesus had a lot of fans that Sunday when he rode in on the donkey. People that were excited about his what he was proclaiming. But it's the followers that stay with him every day. Let's turn to number 177 in the hymns of the church. One hundred seventy seven hymns of the church will only sing the chorus after verse three. I would just read the account from Luke of that of that day, that Palm Sunday. Luke chapter 19, I'd like to read verses 28 through 
28 through 40. And when he, Jesus, had thus spoken, he went before, ascending up to Jerusalem. And it came to pass, when he was come nigh to Bethphage and Bethany, at the mount called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in the which at your entering ye shall find a colt tied, whereon yet never man sat. Loose him, and bring him hither. And if any man ask you, Why do ye loose him? Thus shall ye say unto him, Because the Lord hath need of him. And they that were sent went their way, and found, even as he had said unto them. And as they were loosing the colt, the owners thereof said unto them, Why loose ye the colt? And they said, The Lord hath need of him. And they brought him to Jesus, and they cast their garments upon the colt, and they sat Jesus thereon. And as he went, they spread their clothes in the way. And when he was come nigh, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, Blessed be the King that cometh in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke thy disciples. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. Let's continue singing from Hymns of the Church. Number 261. Twenty two.
Okay, for the order of our service, um, we're going to do an impromptu octet this evening, and uh, we'll take we'll take suggestions for singers from you, and then we'll appoint someone to choose two songs. So uh, we'll take your suggestions for for singers, and I'm not available this evening. And then uh, after I take your suggestions for singers, we'll have a few, take a few selections while they, um, we'll take a few selections before they come forward. So, two sopranos. Marjorie Wagler. Ruth Gingrich. There she is. Two altos. Okay. Two tenors. Okay, and two bass. Roy. Roy and Brian. Okay, thank you all for your willingness to participate in that. Maybe I will ask Cedric to pick one song and I'll ask Roy to pick a song for the octet to sing. Okay, I will take about four selections now. I have the Christian hymnary up here as well. So either song book, um, you, can, you can choose from that. Take about four of them. Five hundred twelve hymns of the church. Fourteen. Okay, we had four forty-one, and I'm sorry, there was one more back. We had one before you. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. And I assume those are all hymns of the church. All hymns of the church. Okay. All right. 512 hymns of the church. Okay, this is a new one for me.
Number 14. Number 14. And if a few sopranos want to do that, the descant on verse 2, that'd be great. Hundred forty one. Four hundred forty one.
253. Two hundred fifty three. <clears throat> Okay, thank you for that. I'll turn the time over to the octet, and then Dave will take it from there.
Thank you, Octet, for those songs. I was especially touched by that last one. All familiar, but 
a wonderful concept that the way of the law of the cross leads home and we all are looking for that home it's interesting that you picked that song Roy because um, Ruth. oh Ruth and I had already picked the song just before that 879 uh, we're entering the um, Passion Week and uh, this is a great old song talking about the cross of Jesus. And um, after this song, the rest of the time, I think we'll take your request numbers, uh, maybe take one at a time. I don't know if I have something to write them on. So if you have a request after this song, we will sing your request number. Song number 879. Oh, Seven hundred eighteen. Yeah. 
Which? 268. 268 in the Christian hymnary. <clears throat> oh. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Wonderful prayer. Anyone else? In the other book? 936? Somebody else? Anyone in this book, Hymns of the Church? Okay. <clears throat> Song number 81, Hymns of the Church. <clears throat>
963, okay. Seven. Okay, we'll maybe be, maybe we'll quit with this one. Blessed are they who will trust in the Lord. <clears throat> we will omit the chorus after verse three, and we'll sing the other chorus. And the chorus on the other two, on the other three. I'm sorry, verses one, two, and four. We'll sing the chorus. <clears throat> Nine hundred ninety-seven. Blessed are they, and some of you. Men be ready to sing the death camp on uh, the little bass solo there. Oh, blessed are they. Praise to the Lord, shining star of grace. 
so much that's a good song to end on talking about trust and yes comments or, or uh, testimonies. <clears throat> okay, very good. Let's, uh, let's stand for closing and let's sing the doxology, praise God from whom all blessings flow. And the thing I like about singing this by memory is that um, without the notes in front of you, sometimes you can add a few notes there. So. <clears throat>